In 1571, the Yucatan people fell ill to the plague. One man determined a plant and alongside with other people, drank it. The substance grew to become the people blue and made them incapable of respiratory in air. They quickly moved to the ocean and created a civilization in the deep water, Talakang. One of the women who ingested the plant had an infant named Kuk Alkan. The baby grew up to become ruler of Talakang. When Fen died, she requested to be buried on the land. Kuk Alkan led some guards up to the land the place he noticed a civilization. They attacked the civilization to make room for his mother's burial. One of the villagers referred to as him Neymar, which means the boy barring love. Shuri works in her lab, making an attempt difficult to create an synthetic heart-shaped herb. To use for her brother and Wakanda's king, Tichola, who is death of an illness. Raymunda slowly walks into the lab, announcing the king's death. A year later, Wakanda is having trouble with other nations trying their vibranium. The Dora mileage trap French military guys making an attempt to steal from their outpost. Later, Raymunda talks to the United Nations and displays the French's try to steal. She reminds the countries that even although the Black Panther is gone, they will nonetheless fight. At a mining outpost, Americans mine in the ocean using a vibranium detector that was created by an MIT student, Riri Williams. They use this to discover vibranium in the ocean. Suddenly they come under attack by using Taliconals who do now not favor them stealing their vibranium. The final ultimate helicopter of survivors is struck down with the aid of Neymar. In Wakanda, Raymunda and Shuri go to the water and mourn the 12 months seeing that Tichola's passing. They burn their funeral clothes to signify the stop of the mourning period, despite Shuri no longer being totally ready for this. Neymar then arrives, getting via the border by going underneath the water. He displays to them the existence of Talakang and needs their help to quit foreigners from taking vibranium. He additionally explains that Wakanda is no longer the only place that has vibranium, Talakang has it too. Raymunda tells him off, concerned of his presence. He tells them he is going to kill the scientist who made the computer and that they can assist him, however they can't get in his way. Shuri and Okoi go to meet Everett Ross, who gives them the identify and location of the young scientist, notwithstanding perchance giving away personal information. Okoi and Shuri then go to Cambridge, Massachusetts to find Williams. They observe her to her garage where she reveals that she is working on an Iron Man type armor. However, they are observed by means of the FBI. The three get away, Okoi in a car, Shuri in a motorcycle, and Williams in her armor. Suddenly, they are met by means of Talakonals, Atuma, and Namora. A quick skirmish ends in Shuri and Williams getting captured. Ross arrives at the scene the subsequent day and meets with his ex-wife, Valentina Allegra de Fontaine. He additionally finds Kamoyo beads and hides them. In Wakanda, an infuriated Queen Raymunda reprimands Okoi for dropping. Shuri, which is exacerbated through previous incidents such as when she reputedly sided with Killmonger when he usurped the throne, and fires her from her position as general. Shuri and Williams wake up in Talakang. Namer suggests Shuri the civilization, attempting to convince her of his ideals, even giving her his mother's bracelet. However, she disagrees in killing Williams. Meanwhile, Raymunda goes to Haiti to see Nakia, who had left Wakanda six years prior. She asks Nakia to discover Shuri for her. Nakia does some spying and figures out the location. She then breaks Williams and Shuri out as Raymunda talks to Neymar about his plan. They return to Wakanda, however only for more torment as Neymar and his humans invade. They flood the metropolis causing an all-out war. Neymar takes care of all of the Wakandan cars before flooding the throne room maintaining Raymunda and Williams. Williams starts drowning, so Raymunda swims to store her. She is capable to get Williams to safety, but only to drown in the process. Shuri mourns her mother's passing as Neymar tells her she is queen now. He and his people then leave the country. Meanwhile, Allegra de Fontaine finds out that Ross has been communicating with Wakanda this entire time and has him arrested. Mbaku talks to Shuri after the funeral and offers her ethical judgment that she have to now not kill Neymar. He then tells her he will supply housing for the displaced Wakandans following the attack. Shuri then uses Neymar's mother's bracelet to create the artificial heart-shaped herb which sooner or later works. She goes to the astral plane after taking it and is greeted by way of Eric Killmunger, who claims they are the same. They argue a bit earlier than Shuri claims she is going to kill Neymar out of revenge. Shuri wakes up and makes herself a suit. 
She then drops into an assembly between Mbaku and the elders as the Black Panther. In Education of the Battle, Shuri and Williams understand that they could weaken Namor by means of heating his body up to where it cannot get oxygen. They then make a second Iron Heart armor. Shuri offers Okoi new armor, performing a good deal like Iron Man's as well, known as the Midnight Angels. Okoi recruits Inika to be a part of her two lady team. In the ocean, they use a vessel to lure the Talakonals into a trap. The combat commences as Namor seems to achieve the upper hand. However, Black Panther traps him in a Royal Talon fighter as they take off away from the battle. Meanwhile, the Dora Milage fight the Talakonals on the facet of the vessel while the Jabari tribe, Nakia, and the others fighting the ones on top. Ironheart and the Midnight Angels take care of the airborne Talakonals. Black Panther heats up the Royal Talon fighter, weakening Namor, however he begins to destroy out with his spear. Black Panther shoots a blast from her Vibranium gauntlets which explodes the entire ship, sending the two adversaries into the island below. The two battle some extra until Namor impales Shuri. However, instead of ending her off, he is more concerned about getting to the water earlier than he dies. An injured Black Panther breaks free and gets in front of the limping. Namor. She then yells Wakanda forever as she armors up, sending a blast from the exploding Talon fighter into Namor. He is set ablaze as he collapses. She stands over him to end him off, however remembers her brother, Tichola. With these recollections of the man he was, she decides to spare Namor's existence as lengthy as he returns to Talakang. Namor has gratitude for the Black Panther and joins her as they return to the battle scene and tell each person to end fighting. Black Panther then yells Wakanda forever once again as the relaxation repeat it back. In the aftermath, Williams returns to MIT besides her armor as the Wakandans do no longer favor any controversy with letting her hold it. Shuri leaves for Haiti as an alternative of difficult for the throne, which subsequently is challenged through Mbaku. Later, Namor paints in his room as Atuma greets him. Namor assures her that their new alliance with Wakanda will be beneficial. On his way to prison, Okoi breaks Ross out of custody. In Haiti, Shuri meets with Nakia earlier than leaving for the seaside the place she burns her funeral ceremonial gown in accordance to Raymunda's wishes, permitting her to sooner or later. Grieve Tichola. In a mid-credits scene, Shuri learns that Nakia and Tichola have a son, Toussaint, who Nakia has been elevating in secret a long way from the stress of the throne. Toussaint exhibits his Wakandan title is T.